Hello and welcome back to Cooking by Zoe. Today's tutorial is on how I make tapioca shrimps. These tapioca shrimps are additions to sweet coconut dessert, nava, or tricolor dessert. Tapioca shrimps are simple to make and contain just two ingredients. These are also sold as dry shrimps at the store and you would just need to boil and cook them. But today I'm going to show you how to make these fresh. The ingredients that you'll need is a half cup plus one tablespoon of tapioca starch and one fourth cup of boiling water. These are the type of food coloring that I'll be using. They are powdered Thai food coloring, but you can use any kind of food coloring you would like. I'll be making six colors, pink, orange, yellow, green, blue, and purple. So let's begin. We're going to start with adding a half cup of tapioca starch into a medium bowl. And then we're going to add in our food coloring of choice and we're going to mix these together. Add as much food coloring you would like. If you're using liquid then just make sure to be aware that adding too much will alter this recipe. Next, add 1 fourth cup of boiling hot water. Again, this must be boiling hot water, not just warm or hot water, but it must be boiling. If you end up using just warm or hot water, your mixture will not form a stretchy dough texture and you will not achieve the right texture to make these tapioca strips. Mix these together until you notice that your tapioca starch are forming clumps. Once they start to form little clumps, then you can start to knead by hand. Continue kneading your dough until you get a soft, stretchy, and sticky texture. This is how your dough should look. It should be soft, stretchy, and a little bit sticky. Now add one tablespoon of tapioca starch and you're going to knead this together. This is to ensure that your dough is not too sticky. You may not end up using all of that tapioca starch. Some may just sit in the bowl and that's okay. Next, get your cutting board or your mat and rolling pin and you're going to sprinkle your board with a little bit of tapioca starch. Flatten your dough out and then roll it into a thin sheet. Sprinkle a little bit of tapioca starch on top of the dough while you're flattening just to make sure it's not sticky and this also ensure that later when you cut, your dough will not be sticky. When your dough has been rolled into a thin sheet, cut it in half or in whichever sizing you like and then set this aside and proceed with the next color if you're doing more than one color. Repeat the process with the rest of your color if you're doing more than one colors.
here are all the colors that I have made for today. To cut these, layer your rolled out dough either two to four sheets and then cut these into thin strips. Sizing of your choice, of course. Add a few pinch of tapioca starch to these strips just to ensure that these strips do not stick to each other. To cook these, boil a large pot of hot water. When the water boils, add in all of your tapioca strips. If you don't plan on cooking all of them, you can freeze uncooked strips and use them on a later date. Boil your strips for about 5 minutes or longer, depending on the softness you would like. Keep in mind that tapioca is chewy, so your strips will have a chewy texture when it is first cooked. After 5 minutes or depending on how long you're cooking your tapioca strips, remove them from the heat and then rinse them under cool water quite a few times until the tapioca strips are cold. Once you have strained your tapioca strips, you want to make sure that you place them in a cool water bath until they are served. Any unserved tapioca strips, keep them in the cool water bath and you can place them in the refrigerator for later. The longer that the tapioca strip sits in the cool water bath, the softer they will get and they will also lose their chewiness. Anything overnight will be less chewy and will be soft when bite into. This is how I'll be mixing my sweet coconut dessert today. I'm adding tapioca pearl, tapioca strips that we made today, coconut gel, coconut cream, and palm sugar. In this video, I will not be showing how to cook these tapioca pearls or how to make palm sugar. If you're interested and would like to know how to make these, please do watch my other tutorials uh, in which I do go in details. I will be sure to link those down below. Add 
add the amount of coconut cream or coconut milk and palm sugar that you will like. Everyone does have a different preference on how sweet they will like, so I will not be giving exact measurements on adding these. And of course, don't forget to add your ice water or crush ice or shave ice, which goes really well with this dessert. Well, thank you so much for watching and tuning in today. I hope you found this tutorial helpful.